Uh, radio. Michael Strandberg here, tour guide. Well, that's where I've been for five days for a fantastic group, a family actually of 11, here on Spitsberg. And, and it's been just, uh, that's why I just have to do this. It's been such a spectacular experience with all these superb mountains. And I'll, fear you, I'll show you a few slides after this little clip that I've done. And uh, I've done this for Kensington tours again. And they really know how to choose a, a location. <clears throat> what, what sets Svalbard aside, or Spitsbergen as it should be called, is the fact that everything is so close. So you actually can stay all the time in, <clears throat> in the main location, which is Longyearbyen or used to be Longyear City and uh, from here it's very close to uh, doing snowmobile rides you take a really exciting boat trip to glaciers because there's many glaciers on earth which receive tourists but there are so many tourists so at times like Perito Moreno in Argentina where I've been several times you just feel it's too much and uh, too much tourist but here yeah, nothing you know it's pristine like nobody's ever been there you realize this is the way it should be this is what you want to offer tourists and and I, I feel so happy because people when they left they, last year they did a big so far in South Africa and they said it wasn't even close to what they did experience here and that does surprise me a lot but uh, that makes me really happy though and uh, it, it, it has to be seen that, that's the last thing I can say I've just dropped my customers clients off at the airport now I'm walking back it's a couple of hours to long year be and by foot uh, but I feel happy and as you see it's it's a stunning country I'll, after this you'll see, I'll add on a few slides and you'll see what I mean Goodbye. Uh, radio Michael Strandberg here tour guide well that's where I've been for five days for a fantastic group a family actually of 11 here on Spitsberg and, and it's been just uh, that's why I just have to do this it's been such a spectacular experience with all these superb mountains and I'll, fear you, I'll show you a few slides after this little clip that I've done and uh, I've done this for Kensington tours again and they really know how to choose a, a location <clears throat> what, what sets Svalbard aside or Spitsbergen as it should be called is the fact that everything is so close so you actually can stay all the time in <coughs> in the main location which is Longyearbyen or used to be Longyear City and uh, from here it's very close to uh, doing snowmobile rides you take a really exciting boat trip to glaciers because there's many glaciers on earth which receive tourists but there are so many tourists so at times like Perito Moreno in Argentina where I've been several times you just feel it's too much and uh, too much tourists but here nothing you know it's pristine like nobody's ever been there you realize this is the way it should be this is what you want to offer tourists and and I, I feel so happy because people when they left they, last year they did a big safari in South Africa and they said it wasn't even close to what they did experience here and that does surprise me a lot but uh, that makes me really happy though and uh, it has to be seen that's the last thing I can say I've just dropped 
my customers' clients off at the airport. Now I'm walking back. It's a couple of hours to long year being by foot. Uh, but I feel happy. And as you see, it's, it's a stunning country. I'll, after this, you'll, I'll add on a few slides and you'll see what I mean.